pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed. So today, on NSR, since we've got ourselves another Mega Blaster coming this year, I figured maybe I should go ahead and start talking about the fact that at one point in time, Hasbro had tried to put a Mega Blaster into action. Being that at the time, it was the first ever Mega Blaster to be released to the marketplace itself. The Mega Centurion was the first Mega Blaster out there, but it was also one of the first blasters out there to really put together a huge negative influence in the Nerf community itself. But to be fair though, it was pretty innovative for what it was. It was like an actual sniper. Being of how long it was, it was enough to compete with the likes of the long shot, long strike, and a few other blasters out there that had sniper-esque sort of appearances. But the Centurion itself didn't really have a scope. That was one thing that we probably would have expected from them to utilize, but they didn't put a scope on there. That was kind of disappointing. It was kind of more like a marksman rifle than a sniper rifle, considering how it didn't have a large scope on the top of it. But it did have a bipod in it, so close enough, I suppose. But you know what? Other than all of that, the Centurion itself was the first, and at the time the only Nerf Blaster to have a Mega Dart Clip in it. A six dart magazine in it, pretty much. But now that we're actually going to be getting back into the Mega Clip system, I feel like that it's safe to say. Maybe Nerf might have done a lot of things here and there. They might have fixed up some mistakes, they might have redone some of those faulty problems that they've had. They might have had a lot of other things to work with. So who knows what happens from here on out. Maybe the Mega Moto Strike, which will be coming later this year, and will essentially be kind of like the Elite Rapid Strike or the AccuStrike Shout Stratohawk in the fact that it bears a similar resemblance to both of those blasters and it has a large clip on it, akin to the Centurion's clip, but it's much bigger and probably much better. But who knows how the Mega Moto Strike is going to handle? It might do better or even worse than the Centurion. Only one way to find out. But again, considering the fact that Nerf has tried and done a lot of stuff to try and make their blasters better, and occasionally they might have done some things wrong with their blasters, but no matter how we're wrong or how right they might be, each and every Nerf Blaster has a certain charm that may never be matched by others out there. Whether if it's from a competitor or if it's otherwise. They're Nerf Blasters that will always be cherished by us because of a specific thing that they have to them. And of course, I could go around mentioning a lot of these things out there, but there's still a lot of other stuff that I would like to talk here in Nerf Secret Reveal before I'm all out of this stuff here. So. If you want to see more of that on my channel, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.